everyone, my name is Christine. Uh, I'm known as Hula Gran because I only learnt to hoop after I became a granny. Now I know there are lots of new hoopers out there who have signed up to do the Learn Challenge. Such a great cause. And the last thing we want is people getting upset because they can't do it. So um, I'm just going to give you a few little tips. First of all about hoops. Uh, I recommend the beginner's type hoops that you can buy from good hoop companies. I'm not a big fan of the weighted ones because they hurt. And why would you want to hurt yourself? Anyway, if you go on websites, they tend to tell you to, to get one that comes to your navel, which is fine for some people, but most of my beginners find they like a bigger hoop because the bigger the hoop, the easier it gets. So you can go bigger or even bigger. I do have some even bigger ones than this, but I can't use them indoors. So big hoops make it easier. That's the first lesson. Right, let's have some more lessons. Right, first thing comes with how you spin it. Put, the temptation is to go high because then you think it's got further to fall. It just falls off you from there and hurts you there. So get it in the small of your back like that. Hold it out nice and flat and push it with a big thump into your tummy. So it goes thump. Now I'm not doing any moving and it will still want to spin a few times. So get, practice that push and let it drop and feel pleased with yourself. When you're ready and you've got that going nicely, you then learn to, it's a backwards and forwards movement. People think it's all wiggle, 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 but wiggle, wiggle, wiggle makes the hoop go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and fall down. So you don't need a wiggle, you need a push and it's a push from here. So you sort of thrust your hips forward, not backwards, because that knocks the hoop over as well. <laughs> it's a lot to think about, isn't it? So you push, push, push. Some people find it easier with one leg in front. Push, push, push. That can be a bit tough on your knees. So if you've got dodgy knees, I'd go for this sort of wide stance and push, push, push. So if I can put those two things together, Give it a good whack, it's in the right place in the small of my back, whack, and now I'm going to go push, 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 and the harder I push, the better it's going to go. And it's really important to keep your head up, because hoops are sneaky. If you look down, they go down. So keep your head up, so big push, 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 push from here, head up, think positive, and it will get better with practice, I absolutely promise. And if you're having any trouble, just let me know. I want to help. Okay, good luck. Remember, we're doing it for a good reason.